Yay. Hey. Okay, hi guys. Hi. So many of you have joined us. So please say hi in the comment. And of course, if you have any questions for UE, please feel free to put it in the comment hey. box. Hey. Hi guys. <laughs> <laughs> I was being distracted by okay, there is a lag on the Facebook page. Yes. There's a lag on Facebook, so I'm gonna switch that off. Okay, okay, that that's off. done. That's done. Okay, so for Instagram, uh do you see me live? Then you can join me there as well. Okay. okay, so we are currently live both on Facebook and we are also on Instagram as well. So, uh, please, you know, feel free to join us. Say hi. Ah, yay! You can only Is there any requests? Okay. okay. Yay! <laughs> and I am looking at your green screen. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Very distracting, is it? It's like one green screen and then one is like my beautiful living room. <laughs> yeah, it's usually I don't share the secret behind the steam lab, but there you go. <laughs> this is how it's really done. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, okay, let's uh, start. I'm very, very excited to have uh, UE with me today on Lunch Date with Violet because I think, you know, like a lot of us have seen her on TV. We have seen her on like, I think the first time I met UE is uh, Chao Sama. Right? Oh no! Good morning, Singapore! You why you not tell I tell you, uh, nowadays, right? If it's just hey, the title of it. Like, I I think we are going to end up really, you know, like going between Mandarin and English because I'm so uh, used to speaking to you in Mandarin. Like once I yes. see you, I want to speak in Mandarin because man Mandarin mm. mm. And I feel like this is a funny thing. <laughs> so, as some of you might know, I do media training as well, right? So, mm -hmm. I keep telling my students or sometimes my profile on the show, I, mm -hmm. I keep telling them, even when they tell me this is, Mandarin is not the, the, uh, the language that they are most comfortable in. So, I keep telling them, it's okay, <laughs> you know? You just have to speak slowly and it's all about how <laughs> genuine you are. It's all about the stories that you're sharing. So, it doesn't matter. Mm. Don't think too much. This is the last thing I want you to think about. So, I'm telling you, this is karma. <laughs> so, it was really funny when I first contacted uh, UE for this and then yeah. I sent her all the questions and then after she read it and she was like, oh my goodness, it's going to be in English. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, huh? Really? Yeah. <laughs> like, mm, like, uh, like, it, it's the night before. It's a bit late to. to you, you, to, I think people on Insta they say they are not able to hear you. They're they are not able, able to hear, to hear me. you on it's Insta. Funny. Yeah, so okay, Nita I just what. say that they can't hear you on Insta. Okay, like maybe you just want to this. fix that a bit. Yeah. Hi yeah, guys, okay. we see Hi. many people joining us right now. Okay, I think yeah. my audio yes, is up. Yes. Okay. Okay. Great. Does it work now? Can you hear Yui now? Is it is it working? Hello, my check one. Yeah, is it three. working? Let us know in the comments if you can hear her now. Yeah. Okay, it should be working. Yay! Okay, oh, okay. Uh, yes, they can hear you now. Good. Yes, thank you. Hey, okay, Sinita. awesome. <laughs> yes, awesome. Amita, they can hear now. Okay, so let's get started. Yes. So, uh, once awesome. again, welcome to all our viewers on uh, Facebook as well as Instagram. Um, okay, so. Anyways, I UE is like one of the first people I wanted to bring onto my show, Lunch Date with Violet. But of course, I thought, you know, like, okay, let me get it a bit more going first. Let me know what <laughs> I'm doing. Then, you know, I'll invite her. So, I'm so happy to have her on the first day of May, May Day. Yeah. <laughs> so, I think it's, it's really fun because I was telling her, I say for once, um, she is going to be the interviewee and I'm going to be the interviewer. So. <laughs> yeah, and then I was thinking of all the questions I've ever asked you, all the difficult spots I've put you in, <laughs> all the challenging questions. <laughs> no, la, you never put me in any difficult spots and I promise I'm not going to put you in any difficult spots too. But if the Brilliant. viewers with you otherwise, they ask you questions, then okay, la, you can't how you do Okay, definitely karma. No <laughs> karma, it's <laughs> karma. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, okay, so, um, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so um I think you know, like a lot of us um like say, you know, have seen you eat on TV, you know, like and I think at one point you were acting as well, right? Uh yes, for a couple of mm. years. I think I did it for about four years. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So yeah, yeah, it's a pretty interesting 
period in my life because that's yes. something I never thought I'd do. And um, yes, yes. in some ways, I never thought I'll actually enjoy it. Yes. And it's an amazing art form that I feel pretty privileged to be ever introduced into it. Wow. And I know that you are going to share something very interesting with us later. Yeah. Yes. And so stay tuned, you know, if you want to know more about that. But first things first, you know, like um, I'm sure all your fans, you know, like I see a lot of them here. So you might want to say hi to them. Like they might know uh, more about you and where you are from. But I believe <laughs> that there are some people who might not know as well. So maybe you can share with us because I remember the first time I met you, right? So obviously I just assumed that you're from Singapore. Then yeah. I think I received your email. So it was like, I think you were not just to children but you are like producer as well and things like that and then you send yeah. me emails and send me questions like how I've sent you but <laughs> 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 so so then I'm like hey how come your email email uh, address so interesting like and then that yeah. was when I started thinking like oh you know like wh where are you from actually so maybe you want to share yeah this. okay yeah so um the email address that we get in media corp it's um yes. so it's so it's always your full name Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, the address is always your full name, right? So when I got my email address, uh, when I first joined MediaCorp, I got a call mm -hmm. from mm -hmm. I don't know which department. And you know, because I did a morning show, right? So I'm usually yes, pretty, yes. I'm usually pretty drowsy in the afternoon. So I was just taking mm -hmm. a quick nap at my desk. Mm -hmm. Totally yes, yes. justifiable. Yeah. So, <laughs> so someone called my desk and I picked it up. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. I had no idea who the person was. So she yes, called. Yes. She was like, um, is this Ariana on the line? I was like, yes. Like, what, what is this about? Then she was like, oh, I'm calling from where, 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 where. Then she was like, hey, your name is Ariana Halim. Why are you working for the Chinese current affairs department? I'm like, huh? wait, wait, wait. Can I just go grab a coffee and come back for this? <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Yeah, so that is my, real, my, my um, Indonesian name. That's the name yes. that's on all my IC, my passport. That's Ariana Halim. Yep. So, my dad's mm -hmm. Indonesian Chinese, my mom's mm -hmm. Vietnamese is Chinese. They met wow. in Taiwan, that's where we grew up. Mm -hmm. the, uh, the family went back and forth between Singapore and Taiwan for a little bit. And uh, I was mm -hmm. born in Hong Kong, actually. Yeah, my... it's like, when you first shared with me, I was like, that's amazing. It's like, what, what countries have you not been to? And then it's like, then I was like, oh, you know, like, that's why, like, your Mandarin is, like, so fluent. It's, like, so good. Uh, it, 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 it took a while. Mm -hmm. One thing is, I think for, uh, for my parents, it's a privilege mm -hmm. to be able to speak Mandarin. Because yes. that's something they don't get when they were growing up. Mm -hmm. My dad, till now, he doesn't speak perfect Mandarin. He speaks with a with the, uh, Medan accent. My mom speaks beautiful Mandarin, even when she was growing up in Vietnam, because that's something that they fought really hard to preserve. You know, in Ho Chi Minh City, there was a period of time when the, uh, the Chinese teacher, teachers in school Mm -hmm. um, they had to hide the Chinese textbook under the desk. Wow. And they were teaching Chinese in secret when the principals were not around. That's how it was done. So my, I think especially for my mom, that's something mm. that she really treasures and she makes sure all of us could speak proper Chinese when we were growing up. So you speak Mandarin at home? Yes, we do. And that's, oh. the, only common, that's the only common language we have at home. Because my daddy speaks Bahasa and... Oh, that's uh, true. Hokkien. Yeah. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> and Mandarin. And my mom does Vietnamese, Cantonese, Hainanese, and Mandarin. So that's kind of like wow. the overlapping So how, how many languages do you speak then? <laughs> Two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember that's the it. first time. The, maybe the first or second time I met you. Then after that, I knew that um, you, you uh, were born in Hong Kong. I think the first question I asked you is like, can you speak Cantonese? <laughs> I don't even watch the baby dramas. <laughs> it's an overcompensation, seriously. I, I feel like mm -hmm. when we were growing up, right, they were, they were putting so much emphasis on our ability to speak and especially writing Chinese. They put yes, so much yes. focus on it. Wow. Yeah. So, and I think that that is usually the case, right? That's why in, in, uh, in Singapore, it's so difficult like, for our kids to learn Chinese because they always feel that I don't need it, I don't want to learn it. But I think when yeah. you feel that, like, okay, I really need to learn it, you know, I'm so proud of my heritage, then it's, it's a different kind of feeling. Yes, and, uh, but, okay, I, I'd say it's probably a yes and no. Mm -hmm. By, how should I put this? By calling something precious and something mm -hmm. that, we should be proud of, it doesn't really speak to us as mm -hmm. at a personal level. 
it's about it's a language it's meant to be used you don't learn it for the sake of it you don't only it's not something that you only speak for exams it's something that you have to use on a day-to-day -day basis that's when you can appreciate the beauty of it i feel yeah, that yeah. even for now especially when i was starting out i insisted on working only for a chinese media because i feel that in so many ways that's the only way that i can appreciate the beauty of the language it's not that i don't like english i can't enjoy it like <laughs> even though i didn't do very well in school i can't like it but i feel that mandarin it's so it's so underused yes. in our industry i love watching programs from china from taiwan i love how they describe things it's so poetic it's almost like reading a lyrics from a song and putting it into real life it's almost beautifying our real life situation where you can put it nicely in words. So that's something that even till this day, even after so many years in the industry, it, it still mes mesmerizes me. Hey, so Yu Yin, you are the ambassador ma, for the yes, bilingual. <laughs> <laughs> Ta-da! <We do. laughs> that's why I say when I see you, I just want to speak Chinese because I'm just so used to relating with you in Chinese and I feel Chinese, like you say, right, is so poetic and then it's just, it's just very friendly and there are things that I cannot express in English. Like sometimes, you know, I would prefer to write in Chinese even though my Chinese is not so good. Yeah, oh, well, so well, I, well. I totally understand where you're coming from. Yes. <laughs> And I really wish that, um, I feel, and in fact, I feel that this is one of the challenges I, I've had at work, mm -hmm. is how do I put things nicely in yes. Mandarin, in a way that mm -hmm. even I would want to watch, even I would, I would want to read about it, even, and I feel that probably for the things that we talk about on TV, it's at its best. When you enjoy the audio, you, you enjoy the words, even without visuals, that to me, would be the perfect way to showcase what the language is about. Wow, I think I need you to like go and talk to my kids so that you know they are a bit more inspired about the language. <laughs> Leah, they wouldn't find me annoying. Uh. <laughs> no, no, I'm <laughs> sure they won't. So we have a lot more people who have joined us. Like uh, May say, Yui is so pretty and talented. Oh, Tenku really say, really love really. her acting. Yay! Oh, <laughs> okay, so on that note, right? I mean, oh. it's like, did you know like you wanted to get into this industry at a young age? Like, at what point did you know you want to like be a TV personality, you know, like be a TV presenter or even an actress? I'd say the, uh, the question might surprise many. Mm -hmm. I feel that I wanted to get into this industry because I wasn't doing well in school. Mm. Ah, I was from NTU Accountancy. My balance sheet, mm -hmm. they don't balance. <laughs> I was struggling. <laughs> Why did you choose to do accountancy in the first place? Because I didn't know what I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. You know, after I got my A-level results, right, I was like, okay, I don't know what... I. I don't know where my passion lies. I wanted mm -hmm. to do music, but I would just I yes. just didn't have the talent for it. Mm -hmm. And then I thought, okay, maybe I'll just follow the mainstream, follow the crowd and just get into business. Then mm -hmm. my mom was like, okay, you're a girl. Mm -hmm. I think since you got a double A, I got a double A at home. Mm, at the time, mm. even that I never really <laughs> enjoyed studying that much. Mm -hmm. uh, so... So she encouraged me to get into accountancy. But at that point, I had no idea what accountancy was about. I thought it's just mathematics. I was pretty okay with mathematics, so I thought I should be able to cope. Yes. Until the, the day I realized, right, my first day in NTU, I got to my first accountancy class, I was like, oh my God, this is not mathematics. <laughs> Why am I even here? <laughs> But at that point, it was a bit too late. And I didn't want to switch courses because mm -hmm. I had no idea what else that I wanted to do. So I just suck it up. Lah. Then my entire goal was to get out of school. I yes. just want to suck it up for three So years. was it like a three years program or a four years program? Three. For NQ, it's a okay. three thing. Yeah. Okay, okay. That's right, good. So at least just suffer for three years. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I mean, like... I mean, so much friend, I had fun. You know, my friends yeah. are great. And we're still in touch. And we still hang out. Yeah, so, yeah we still we're still in touch. I mean, we don't hang out anymore, like given the current situation. But yes, yes. There was a time that I totally enjoyed, and they are all doing banking. One of them is a lawyer now, and I feel that for them, all along they kind of knew what they wanted to do, except for mm -hmm. me. Yeah, mm -hmm. it was during my last semester in NTU. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 
I was a bit worried about uh, whether I can graduate on time. And yeah. there's this, um, you know, at that time, right, you, you know that your appearance kind of matters. Mm-hmm. So someone told me that uh, with, the, uh, with the right appearance, yes. you'll be able to get into the big four. Mm. Yeah. So oh, you know, okay. Like, I, I wasn't expecting that. I was, you, you know, it's like I have this habit, right? When people are saying something, they're already like thinking what they're going to say. I thought you were going to say that with your appearance, you should be able to get into media call. <laughs> okay, but anyway, <laughs> yes, yeah, never crossed my mind. Yes. So I am neither confirming or denying this point, but mm-hmm. I'm just saying that that was what I was told mm-hmm. at, during that period of time. Mm-hmm. And then until I went to my, so that was the first day in my final semester. I went yep. into my last text module, the, the, the yes. first lecture of the text module. So I went in mm-hmm. and I saw one of my senior sitting in the lecture room where she was supposed to have graduated. And she's really pretty. She's like one of the prettiest person I know. They was like, okay, looks can only get you this far. If you fail your exam, you're failing your exam. If you tap out, you tap out. If you, you retain, you retain. That was like, okay, damn it. I am getting out of this school. So then I you're just, super motivated after that. <laughs> yes, because I was so determined to get out. I mean, like, mm. I, I love my friends. It's a wonderful program, but it's just not for me. Yeah. yeah so I, I studied really, really hard in my last semester so that I don't have to do a common seat anymore. <laughs> yeah. Yes, and, um, and then I think... Then was, what happened after that? Yeah, it was right before the last, my last examination. Mm-hmm. You know, so that was like, the, either you get out of school or you come back for a more kind of yes. um, breaking point. I had a recruitment ad on Power 98 for uh-huh. recruitment for Dong Li Baba San. So it's kind of funny, right? You have a recruitment yes. ad for Chinese DJ running on an English station. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that I needed a job. So I just went for it anyway. So everything kind of just picked up from there. Oh, wow. That's so interesting. So you didn't have any like mass comm background and things like that, which is, you know, like a lot of people when they go into the industry, they they maybe have something related. I learned everything on the job. Wow. Okay, so you started at Tony Papa San and then what happened Mm. after that? Well, um, so I was there for almost five years. Towards the mm-hmm. end of my contract, I was, I was actually part-timing with them because I thought it would be a good idea to, mm-hmm. to upgrade myself. So yes. that's why I started um, doing a second degree with Unisin on, on oh. um, translation and interpretation. Yeah. Oh, I so interesting. It, okay, what, yeah. why did you decide to do that? Mm, I feel that it was through the course of my work. I slowly mm-hmm. understood the, uh, the depth and the diversity that a language can offer and to create that bridge between two different languages, two different languages. It's not just, you, you know, it's so much more than just the words that we use. It's everything, yep. the words we use in so many ways, it shapes our thinking. But the choice of words, it comes from a long history of evolution and 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 changes and it, it even marks all the different eras that this culture has been through. So there's something that I've come to appreciate and that's when I decided to sign up for a course with them. Oh. Yeah. So I think I've eaten a lot of things that I don't know about before. I don't know about before. I don't Okay, that's, that's very interesting. So, so then you did like uh, the Unisync course in translation and interpretation. And then yes. when did you move to like uh, uh, Channel 8? Channel 8, yes. Mm. I got a call to, mm. I got an invitation to audition for um, the anchor role for Dao Anihao at the time. Oh. For the one in Singapore. Yeah, la, so yes. I went for it. La. Then, then mm. I got it. Then I was like, ha, huh, but my classes end at 10 at night. No, what, what year was that then? Up and fall in the morning. Oh my goodness. What, what year was that? Yeah. It was, uh, I got it in 08. Oh. I graduated oh, yeah. and, and then I extended my course. I was doing one module a week because 4 p.m. time. Then, yeah, I graduated in probably 2012. Probably oh. took me about four years to complete the entire program. 
Wow. So it was like a part-time program and then you were like working at the same time and yeah. then you were doing the program at the same time. Wow, yes. amazing. And then you, you, the great thing is all my lecturers knew about it. So every time, you know, at that time there was no, there was no Grab, no Uber, how you have to fight <laughs> for taxis at the taxi stand. So every time, right, I know there was, there was going to be a long queue at 10 o'clock, mm-hmm. right? You know? yeah. and, and from the classroom to the taxi stand, it's, pretty, it's a pretty long walk. So I'll yes, tell yes. the teachers, I'm so sorry, I have to leave at 9.45. So it gives me a head start to be all the way to the taxi queue to hop onto the taxi so I can be home right before I know I can get up get home in about 20 minutes. So I'll be able wow. to get by 10, 20, I'll be able to shower and get myself in bed by 11. I won't be able to fall asleep. Then I just have my eyes open for the next one hour until I finally fall asleep and then wake up again at four o'clock for the morning show. That was madness. Oh I had no goodness. idea how I, how I did it. So that- that went on for like four years. Yes, almost well, about three or four years. I can't remember. Wow! Yeah, amazing. But now that so, I think that it's total madness. It's total. It is. It's so, so. I think that's what people always say. When you are doing it, you are conditioned to do it, and you you just kind of go with it and just keep going. But you know, like usually, um, when you look back, it will just seem like how how did I even you know like do that? Yeah. How did I yeah. even manage? How did I even sit for those exams? And yeah. I spent, yeah, and just, you know, to be in front of a computer for hours just to work on projects. Now I think about it, it's just madness. And uh, it, it's broken down into all the different areas. Mm-hmm. So for the media, for, for modules on media and even laws, in some way it's a lot easier for me because that's something that I do at work. Yes. Wow, but when it comes to the history of translation, I just want to die. I have no idea what was going on. <laughs> so then um, you were with uh, MediaCorp for, for a while, like you mentioned, you know, you yes. were in uh, Good Morning Singapore and that's actually where we met. And then after that, you went into acting. Yeah. So, so yes. how did that come about? Uh, you know, the nice version of the story is always about getting new experiences and widening my horizon and getting yeah. out of my comfort zone. The truth is, I just couldn't wake up in the morning anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so now, now we know the truth. <laughs> so everybody who's watching this, you know, like even though um, when uh, Yui was uh, interviewed, I remember, you know, like reading about it in eight days la, and all the yeah. different things. Oh, you know, I want to uh, open up my horizons and yeah. I want to do new things. <laughs> get off my comfort zone and I want to see what I can do I want to realize my full potential I couldn't wake up I just couldn't wake up at all <laughs> so, so I think you, you mentioned that you were acting for like about four years right yes. so, so what, what do you learn from that entire experience okay acting I think acting deserves so much more credit than what we are giving it right now it's such an amazing art form it's about dissecting life understanding what every moment means and then you put it together again in telling a compelling stories and um okay here's a book that was introduced to me yes, by yes, yes. Chen. okay this the power of the actor so this is the one book that has changed my life it taught me what acting was about and uh, i was shooting Ma. This show that there was Andy, uh, Alvin Ng with uh, Ray Ng. I was showing that show, that's how I got to know Andy. And so we were just talking one day uh, when we were waiting for a scene. And so he told me about this book. I probably mm-hmm. finished it in about a week. And the day wow. I returned to set after the, reading the entire book, Andy told me, you seem a lot more comfortable on set. And... You know, sometimes we talk about the vibe, you know, the, the, the what do you call it? The gravita. Mm-hmm. The gravita, everything was in place after reading this book. Acting is not about pretending. It's not even about deploying your emotions. It's about what every moment in your life means. So this is something that I really want to share. See, I said, okay. So this, uh, okay, I, let me see if we can put it up on screen. Are you able to see it? Inner monologue, yeah, I can see it. Yes. 
Hey, Benjamin Lowe from Instagram, The Power of the Actor. Yes, have you read it? Okay, it says, Inner monologue can give purpose and magnitude to scripted moments that seems mundane or insignificant. Isn't this what life is all about? All the little moments in life, when you're waiting in traffic, when you're waiting for the elevator, when you're waiting for the food, every moment counts. It's about every moment of your life and appreciate it. This is what it's about. And this is one book that I strongly encourage, right? For anyone, you have to get in front of the camera, including what we are doing right now, in, including seminars, webinars, and people who have to go on stage to give speeches, to do public speaking. This is one book that I strongly recommend it will help you. I think I should just be an influencer, seriously. <laughs> Why am I an anchor? I should be an influencer. I think so. I think you should be an influencer. I think in the, you know, just before we went on the show, of course, you know, we, we went on earlier to like just liao tian and then just get ready mm. and things like that. And you already like introduced so many different things to me. I'm like, oh my goodness. I'm like, yes, you should be an influencer. <laughs> yeah, but my mic didn't work. You know, we were talking about... <laughs> Our equipment, so I was like, okay, I got this mic, I've got this light, okay, it's not heavy, but it's right here. So I think set up for this. No, no, the most important one, especially for all the ladies who are watching this, you should share like the thing that I already wrote down that I'm going to get. Yeah. Need the hair feels and Ali. Okay, you're breaking up, Deisha. Deisha, <laughs> you're breaking up. So they were Sorry, breaking up there. No, yeah, I see your have you, have you. I think that one. The but have you are oh. Yeah. <laughs> I should just be an influencer, seriously. <laughs> this, ladies and gentlemen, may I introduce you to Hairfield. I have no idea where this is from. It's from my creative director. So <laughs> it deals with your baby hair. It soothes the hair without flatten flattening it. This one works. Okay, this works better than any spray. Swiss so is actually quite control. This I I recommend it a lot for any beginner in hairstyling like myself. Yeah, you have like buy now. Ah, I see people buy already. Yeah, because I'm like, okay, okay I need to get <laughs> okay, this. Okay, chill, 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 okay. <laughs> Lots. Yeah, just sharing, just sharing. Mm -hmm. do, 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 do. I, I find it. Okay, so my next question is, um, you know, you were with um, MediaCorp for like a number of years. So what made you decide to like go independent? Mm. Mm. That's a, uh, that's a story that I still think about it. I still think about it sometimes. Um, mm. Towards the end of contract, I did a play with a local group. Uh, I mean, is theater and something that I've always enjoyed, but I find it, mm -hmm. um, it's physically and emotionally demanding mm -hmm. in so many ways that's different from drama. Drama is tiring, that's for sure. Mm. But theater is an entirely different set of games. So, for example, right, I have two breakup scenes with Darren, Darren Tan, uh, in the mm -hmm. show, we were a couple. We had two different breakup scenes. So, Mini Rat, I have to cry twice for every show. And there are times when we do two shows in a day. So, Mini, I have to cry four times on stage. So, that's a bit, quite, quite a lot already. Wow. So, but, and we were quite lucky. Yeah, so we, we got invited to perform in uh, Kuala Lumpur. It was, mm -hmm. yeah, what theater was that? It, it's a really huge space. And um, yes. it's probably the biggest theater I've ever been to i've yeah. ever performed on mm -hmm. um so it was on the last day of the show it was almost chinese new year and, um, my parents they were all in kuala lumpur to support the performance yes. and i was just waiting for them at the theater because i thought they could come by and we can hang out a little bit in the afternoon yes. before the mm -hmm. performance yeah so in the afternoon while i was waiting for them in the uh, the rest of my cast they were either resting or doing their own warm-up Mm -hmm. Some of them were playing video games on their phones. <laughs> no, they're all very young. 
<laughs> so I just walking alone in a the theater. It's a huge and dark space, and it's pretty gigantic. So I was just soaking in. I was just soaking in the vibe, and just you, you know, in a the theater, there's always this magical sense of vibe in it. So I was just enjoying my alone time, and just walking through the audience seats and. Try to imagine how it's like to be mm -hmm. sitting there watching us on stage, and then I think at that point I was also trying to imagine what I would be seeing from my point of view while I was on stage. I'll be looking at my cast members. I'll be looking at the lights. I'll see the audience sitting down there, maybe crying with us, maybe cheering for us, rooting for us, rooting for the for the characters. And then I felt that I've taken my bucket list at that point. Mm. I feel that I got the experience mm. I wanted. So I, well, yeah. well, okay, this thing can be done. So that wow. was when I I realized that it's time for me to do something different. Yeah. Wow, such a beautiful story. I mean, I can imagine that scene, scene, you know, like that part mm. of you really walking through the seats and. Mm. Wow. But you want to know the spoilers? Nice. <laughs> yeah, what's the spoiler? <laughs> there were a lot of mosquitoes. <laughs> really? Then, like, what? What do they do? Like, do they like spray the place up before people come in, or? Wait, yeah, they did. But because I was walking around so much, right? And then I was walking through all the corners. Then you know, I was there in my own imagination, and then going through <laughs> that whole romantic, dramatic images <laughs> in my head. I was like. Lama copy. That is that is that is what do you call it? Like very um, real life. Okay, hashtag real yes, life. Yes, yes. Hashtag real life. You're right. <laughs> so um, I mean, like with very your realistic. if you're very you know like I I would say incredible journey. Someone have actually mentioned that you know incredible journey in the media industry so far. Like, what advice would you oh, have for someone you. who's actually looking to enter this industry? Mm, mm, I mean, as a as an anchor, as a okay lah. Actually, I didn't apply. Mm. This do users so for some of younger maybe an assistant producer as the actor, a presenter, an anchor, a news reader. Help me with an open mind, with the mm. mindset of getting the full experience of what an industry of and. and Make it part of your journey. You know, this is not the end. This is just a path that leads you to where you are supposed to be in the future. Yeah, that'll be my advice. Thank you. Mm. So I know, like, uh, you have been working on many different projects, and uh, yes. I also know that you have something really exciting coming up. So you mm. want to share with our viewers, like, what are you currently working on? Ah, thank you for asking me. <laughs> it's time for a little bit of advertisement, okay? Given that I'm such an influencer at heart, <laughs> I'm a closet influencer. I tell you, <laughs> okay. Um, but this is slightly on the more serious note, lah. I feel that mm. um the pandemic is putting us into a new set of routine that none of us have been through before. And I had a guest on my on my show the other day, yeah. uh, an analyst, a financial analyst. So he was telling us that the uh, the uh, their bank. They are looking at an eleven minus eleven to thirteen percent of economy. Oh, sorry, eleven to thirteen percent of economy downturn for the next quarter. I have no idea what that even means. I cannot even imagine what even a minus ten percent even means for us. How is that going to change the way we live? How is that going to change the way we run our businesses? How is that going to change the way we work and the way we spend? I I like shopping myself, but so I think there's now it's time to relook at a lot of the decisions that we have made in life. Are we taking the economy for granted? Are we taking what the earth has offered us for granted? And um, I know a lot of business owners, and there are a lot of people struggling out there trying to keep their business afloat, trying to um, keep their staffs, and try not to lay off anyone. But eventually, I know. Unfortunately, the truth is that is a decision that they might have to make at some point. But um, whether it's a story of success or failures, these are stories that deserve deserve to be heard. So um, I'm I've, I'm starting a new series. I'm gonna talk. Um, I'll be talking with all the business owners to talk about 
what they have been through, the failures and success, experience that they are able to share, or even for stories of failure, what are the lessons that they have learned? I think it will be, yeah, I, I do for for people to interact. At the same time, you know, some of the experiences, it may or may not apply to what we are going through as an individual, but I do believe that hearing stories, it can motivate and inspire us to do the best for ourselves. So, having said that, this is a new collaboration I'm working on with Sprout. It's a production agency. We will be mm-hmm. launching our new series of Yo Yi Dian Xiang Fa. Uh, ah, so the, the nice topic. one. So it's, it's a play something. on your current know, right? show. Yes, yes Yo Yi Dian. So mm. currently I have this platform, Yo Yi Dian, on both Facebook and, um, and YouTube and Instagram. And Instagram, I'm talking about, <laughs> talking about Instagram. <laughs> so, it will be launched on Sundays. We will be uh, will be producing bite size uh, content for Instagrams, and the full show will be on both uh, Facebook and YouTube. Nice. And the okay, first I'm... person is Doctor uh, Runs Fish and Co. He has a, he's got amazing stories to share. Do you know him personally? Are you guys friends? I just no, no, I don't know him personally. Business. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I, I, I've not. Uh, met yeah, I assume that but people look at entertainment see. circle, right? And yes, and then they assume that you all know everybody as well, right? Yes, exactly. <laughs> 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 no, no, but I, I definitely um, would, would uh, look out for the show and I totally agree with you because I think sometimes like during such interviews or, you know, like this such programs, it's always about like the success stories that, you know, what went really well, like, you know, it's all the like very glossy things. But I think, you know, what yes. people can learn a lot from is actually from uh, things that didn't work out so well or even failures. But of course, you know, it's not easy for people to share. And I, I, I think it's, it's great that, you know, you are going to have this platform to, to really gather these stories and, you know, like um, help people to open up to share. And that's really going to benefit so many people out there. Yes, I, I believe so. And, uh, and one last thing, if I'm doing this in English, you can do this in Mandarin. <laughs> For anyone who doesn't feel comfortable speaking Mandarin out there, just do it. This is me walking the talk. <laughs> and look at so, Violet. So, she does you, <laughs> done really well, all the Chinese medias. No, that's the thing. It's so funny, right? Like, I, I remember, like, okay, the, the first, um, like, media friend, like, media who became friend, you know, like, other than you, is Tia Piao. Mm. So, you know, I, I knew Tia Pia, like, really from almost, like, the, the first year after we started the business. So, we started a business in 04, and then I think mm. I met him in 05. Ah. And, you know, when, when I first met him, it was so difficult, like, to go on his show. And then it's, like, every time I would, like, prepare, like, crazy. I'll ask for questions. I'll, I know, like, I will uh, answer it in English first. I'll translate it. I will rehearse. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's crazy. Send it, send it. And, and then it's, like, after yeah. a few years, right? After a few years, then he's, like, Hey, you don't want to be how eh? Yeah, because when I met you, you guys, it was no? in 08. Yes, yeah. yes, and yes, yes. Season, I met you. Yes. Yeah. So thanks, thanks to the media. Yes. Right, because <laughs> so <laughs> it can be done. Yes, it can yeah. be done. And at time, right? Yeah. yeah. Yes, it's fun. You know, last fun. time in the morning, because I was always so drowsy and so tired, almost a little bit grumpy because I, I haven't had my breakfast. Mm-hmm. To me, yeah, I only work, I don't work with an empty stomach, that's the thing. So mm-hmm. every time when you walk into the studio, when you have that, when you have that sparkle on you mm-hmm. and you have that, you, you, you're always so ready to connect. And mm-hmm. I could roughly t- tell that Mandarin is probably not what you speak at home, yeah. but you can always interact with us so effortless, so effortlessly. And, oh, and that's something that I really appreciate it. Yeah, and you were so energetic. I feel like, <laughs> they, uh, you know, at that time when I was so t- tired, right? I was so desperate for genuine human connection. Mm-hmm. So talking to you in so many ways, I always find it energizing. And oh, then something, thank you. yeah, and something that's so precious. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, so it's really thanks to you guys that my, my uh, Mandarin improved, seriously. Because, yeah. you know, there's no reason for me to really speak Mandarin before this. Like, um, I, I mean, I actually grew up in Malaysia. And in Malaysia, we use Cantonese a lot more. Ah. Yeah, and, and Cantonese is actually uh, my mother tongue. Yeah. So, you know, like when, uh, I mean, I went to a Chinese school and then we did speak uh, Mandarin at school. But after that, mm -hmm. I talked to all my friends in Cantonese, you know, so even though we used to speak in Mandarin, but then now we actually speak in Cantonese. So I really picked up um, Mandarin again after coming to Singapore and uh, because of all the media <laughs> interviews. So I think it's quite funny. <laughs> Yeah, so you're right. It can be done. Yeah. <laughs> May can say a few words in Cantonese. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come, come. Gayo, gayo. Yeah, say a few words in Cantonese. Gayo, gayo. Ngo hai lam yao yi. Ngo go ping yao is violet leaf. <laughs> <laughs> and it's how bang leh. Let let let's see, you know, like uh, yeah. Oh, what about all the people are like, yeah, like, giving you thumbs up. Oh my yeah. gosh! <laughs> hey, give give uh, you eat more love for you know, like trying to speak in Cantonese. Yeah, thank okay, you. So you eat the, really, the next really. interview we, we do that, yeah. instead of English, we do it in Cantonese. <laughs> Ah, uh, sorry. Ah, uh, I think I I today on bank. Let's go. Okay, bye. Hey, don't go. Leh. Now we have the most important to to go. You know, those of you who who still like you know with with us, you are doing the right thing because we are now going personal. <laughs> What? We just are just talking about work, ma. Hey, so can I personal? Leh. You you want to do what? You you want to run away, right? Okay, okay, okay. I have to be honest. Okay, my nose is a bit. Oh, my nose is congested. I was using my nasal spray. Okay, okay, okay. You continue, you continue. Okay, okay, okay. 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 Okay, okay I, I think I should be an influencer. Hmm, what else do I do? I do enjoy reading. It's uh, mm. something that's very important to me. And I feel that having genuine connections is something that energizes me. Mm -hmm. But uh, when you read a book that really speaks to you, that's almost like having a conversation in the comfort of your home. So, uh, oh, I do have this book that I'm currently on. Brave New Girl. Nice. Um, as you can see from the bookmark, la ho, I'm just starting on this book. Oh, just starting. Wait, wait, it's how to do one, la. No, la, it's slow, ultra slow reader. So, so what is this book about? The kind of thing that I really enjoy exploring. Okay, it talks about uh being brave, and um, it talks about uh it touches. A lot on performance mentality, which is something that I can definitely relate to. It mm -hmm. talks about you know we always say fake it until you make it, and mm -hmm, I mm -hmm. think that's yes. Faking until mm -hmm. you make it is total BS to me. Mm -hmm. When you fake it right, you will never make it one. Mm. All you get is the faking. You'll never understand mm. how it's really done. So this book yep. talks about how it's really done. How do you find that courage nice. from within? And yeah. Wow. And so this is something I really enjoy doing, and um, mm -hmm. and hang out with my dog. Mm. Yeah, she's a. Has she? Ma. Zai, zai, zai. You want to see? Mm, mm, mm. Ah, ah, see, ah, see, ah. Hey, then you run that one like is Violet doing a matching? Is Violet what? Uh, is Violet doing a matching? How to type one? What's up? Is I match me? Not like a see you part set next part next part. We will get there. I need to wear this. Sorry, sorry, I missed that. Not you cannot hear me. Oh, no, I, 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 I,
This is Kuro. Mm. And uh, I just recently groomed her myself. Wow. <laughs> so I enjoy doing things. So that's your things. new hobby. Yeah, new hobby. yeah groom my dog. Traumatize yes. her. You can see yeah, all the yeah. facial hair, everything. It's so uneven because that's my work. <laughs> that's, that's my new hobby as well. Like cutting the hair of my son. I know. I saw your post. You were so excited to cut, to, to cut hair for your son and your husband, right? I was like, hey, I think I can do it for my dog. And then my friend, it, right? right? <laughs> my friend is like so traumatized, you know. He said, it's like, hey, stop posting this kind of things. You're inspiring a lot of women and wife out there to do the same thing. All the boys and men out there are going to be very terrorized. <laughs> you should be an influencer. You influence me into grooming my dog. Yes, <laughs> See, <laughs> okay, see next question. See okay, so you know, it's like yes. when, when we meet or like even when I see you on either Zipo, right? You always look so pretty, like your skin is so clear, <laughs> it's always so radiant. So what is your secret? What is your skincare regime? I'm sure, you know, like a lot of people out there want to know as well. Okay, um, I do have a routine in keeping... Oh, sorry, I need to pull her down first. She's getting heavy, lah. <laughs> The thing that we really need to watch after this CB, right, is our weight. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, so my routine, um, I believe in staying healthy. You are what you eat. You look like what you eat. So be careful about your diet. And uh, okay, I'm quite lucky that I will usually have um, I will usually have different skincare products sent to me. So I get to experiment all the different things. But I feel that different product could work for different people. But having a good night's sleep and having drink water and having the right diet, it never goes wrong. I it's so interesting, hours, right? <laughs> it's so it, yeah, it's, it's, it works. It's so interesting okay, because okay. I, I remember asking the same question to my friend, you know, who is like an aesthetic doctor, right? And she said mm. the exact same thing, you know, which is getting enough mm. sleep, drinking water, and like, you know, eating uh, well. And, you know, sometimes I yeah. guess, you know, like we just feel that, huh? You know, like we are all like <laughs> waiting for this like secret uh, appeal yeah. or secret answer. Wish or whatever, la, right? There's no secret one. <laughs> yeah, la. I also wish there's a secret. I wish there's a magic pill that I can just take and then I can just have that glow on my skin. So, so, so you can you sleep how many hours? Like, okay, last oh. night like you say 10 hours then. Yes. Can... So after my life with, with uh, Tawai Ni Hao, right? Mm-mm-mm. To me, this is vengeance. And, uh, oh, and then when I started acting, right? Again, mm-hmm. I didn't know that acting the call time, it starts at 6 in the morning. I was like, eh, what am I getting myself oh. into? Yeah, so after I left my acting job, again, it's vengeance sleeping. I, <laughs> I'm doing it at least seven, at least 7 hours a day now. Seven that's very nine, good. Mm-hmm. That. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it, I, I think that's luxury. the recommended time. Yeah, and I cannot ask for more. All I want is to have a good night's sleep and then I can get up, slowly read my papers. I read papers every day. So that's a very important time for me while I enjoy my coffee. And to have this routine that goes with my momentum on mm-hmm. my terms, I think that's yeah. very important because your stress level plays a, such a huge part on your health. That's yeah. every... Yeah, I mean, for most of us, we have the luxury of eating the right food and having nice a nice cozy home where we can relax. But the most important thing is we always get so caught up at work and that takes a toll on our mental health and in turn, and from there it affects how our body reacts to it as well. So So it's always very simple, right? It's really the simple things, but sometimes the simple simple things are the difficult things to do. Yes. So (laughs) it's always, it's really about managing your stress level, managing your workload. So, I think, you know, like a segue yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. to our next it's question. The I feel like it's the mental Yeah. So, I think, you know, some of our audiences are already asking just now, right? Like, am I making you a match or things like that? So, I guess maybe one question that people have in their <laughs> mind right now is like, you know, are you single? Are you in a relationship? Yeah. So. I am making friends with an open mind. Oh. 
That works. It works. So, 听到了吗？没有，你们知道演艺圈的都是 We are all good friends. <laughs> no, no. I I think that is the right attitude. That's what I always tell my、uh, clients as well, right? You know, you have to you know keep an open mind. You need to be meeting new people. Yeah. So, thank you for that tip. So my next question is、uh, something that I always、uh, ask. You know, like to use. sorry. Oh, okay. I think we're having a little bit of lag.、Here. Yeah, yeah, we have. Oh,、uh, a bit of... I was saying that I I love what you talked about.、Mm -hmm. You always about rather in the. Okay, we're lagging. Okay, now okay, 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 We talk about the idea. Now I find it's so true that about self learning, be that you yourself would achieve. I think 应该是我的 internet， 因为我现在你是卡住了 ，but I I'm sure the audience can still hear you. Okay. Come on, come on. 对、uh, 我我我我我我想那个 internet 不想我们聊这个话题，你能能能，呀呀，来，能能能 ，help you keep your relationship status， you know， like， 嗯、um, ，mysterious。However， yeah， the universe has spoken <laughs>。What what does true love mean to you？ This is a question that I ask all my interviewees on、like okay. my show。嗯，啊， true love is what I see in my parents。嗯， they met in college。Uh, oh. They were both on the badminton team.、Mm -hmm. um, we're playing badminton at home now. <laughs> we're putting a box in the middle of the living room and see who can get the shuttlecock into the box. Oh, that's 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 a good one. Okay, I think I'm going to try doing that. Yeah, as well. I did、nice、on my Instagram.、One. It's so fun. Go check it out. <laughs> okay. It can keep you busy for the entire afternoon. You know, just to get the shuttlecock in.、Uh, so who is the winner? Who is the winner in your family? My mummy lah. <laughs> Because my mommy always play up,、uh, you know, for people who play play badminton, you will know that you wait. I don't know what it's called lah.、Uh, it's called xiao chiu or something. They、mm -hmm. play closer to the net.、Mm -hmm. So my mom's really good about about that. She she knows、mm -hmm. she all always know precisely where the shuttle court is going. Wow, that's amazing. Okay, I'm going yeah, to try that yeah, out. Yeah, don't just play it. No, it's very fun. Later, I show you the setup. But I think this is what true love means. You know, you can have fun together. You you can enjoy a good laugh together. You can comfortably fart in front of one another. This is what I have at home, and this is a nurturing and com comfortable environment that this two has built for. They have built for themselves and for the children. How how many years have they been married for? Oh, my sister is oh. I'm gonna、mm. reveal her age. <laughs> They've been married for more than forty-five years. Wow! Know, so、right? almost, almost the fiftieth year, a、uh, fiftieth year anniversary. I think soon. I think、wow. it's probably coming up. Yeah. Okay, you 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 need to have a nice big celebration. Wow, fifty years, no joke. No joke, right? Yes. It's amazing. And the、yes. last um, their last anniversary is we celebrated on uh. While we were flying, oh,、uh, I think we were flying back from Italy after my sister's wedding. So、nice. we were on Emirates. So yeah, so I told the flight crew that I just so I called them beforehand. Oh, yes, yes. Emirates, this airline, right? That well, the service is really great. So I called them beforehand, telling them what's、mm -hmm. going on. Yeah. And area on the on the plane, right? So、yeah. I told them to arrange for a surprise at the lounge area. Yes. I will bring them to the lounge. Yes. Yeah, to surprise them. So I'll just tell tell them that hey, let's go and get a drink lah. Then go and、mm -hmm. see the bar a little bit, you know, enjoy the free、yes, flow、yes. drinks or the flight. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, and then the yeah, and the stewardess they came out with a cake, and then suddenly, <laughs> it's so sweet, right? They were all so, they were all so, overwhelmed by their story because obviously,、yes. you know, I told them about it to make yes, sure yes. 
they get they the will do it properly yes. yes yes so i feel mm. that i have to inspire and motivate them, <laughs> to, them to, to do a proper celebration for my parents so they yeah. were also smitten by it but at the moment when they started to sing right they realized it's wrong to sing happy birthday <laughs> they want to sing happy birthday song and then they realize eh, a bit wrong leh. that everybody got a little stuck <laughs> there you know and all the emirates stewardess you know they're all from different country or the different races right they're all yes, gorgeous yes, yes. you see uh, like you can see all the different races all, all the stewardess with all the different hair colors and skin colors yes, everybody's yes. stunned eh. we are happy <laughs> eh, we are, eh. <laughs> <Doesn't mean. laughs> then my mommy was like Oh, <laughs> this is why you've been planning. Like, yeah, this is the idea. <laughs> At the end, what did they sing? Did they continue singing? Yeah, they were just happy anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. The French girl. <laughs> yeah, okay, you can see that French girl struggling, you know, to just make a complete sentence out of it. <laughs> Because birthday is two syllables. Anniversary. Anniversary. Yeah. <laughs> you just don't write mother. Happy anniversary. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Did it doesn't work. <laughs> but I took so many oh, photos so of them. I know, right? Like, 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 is that last year? Yeah, that was last year in September. Mm, so sweet. Mm. Wow. Thanks, thanks for sharing that story. I, I think I it's, it's, so, it's so inspiring. Yeah. Because I, I think, you know, I was talking to a relationship expert yesterday and then she was saying that, um, you know, usually, like, if people don't make it, like, in a relationship, it will, like, usually end, like, maybe at the six, seven year or, like, the 25 years or something like that. So I think mm. your parents have shown that wow, you know, it's like really, you know, they have a very, very strong bond together and obviously a very healthy marriage. And I, I feel that it's in the core. It's about who you are as a person that makes a real difference. Yeah. So like going back to what we said just now, like being the right person, right? Yes. Like, yes, because when we are the right person, we work on ourselves, like we are able to attract and also choose the right person as well. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I think, yeah. Yes. Go on. No, I, no, I, I just say no. Like last question, because you know we are having so much fun, right? It's already twelve fifty-six. Ooh, time flies when you're having fun. Yeah. So, okay, like you know, like we are having like you know lunch date with Violet right now. But I mean, mm. if you were to you know like um choose to have a lunch date with someone, not necessarily romantically, but if you want to share that, you know, please feel free to do so as well. <laughs> but just with you know anyone that you know like maybe you admire or you want to learn from like who would it be and why okay i think um that's my choice would i'll just you oh <laughs> 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 i mean if i can go on a lunch date with Wu Zun and he's single the whole like sorry bye bye Violet. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Wow, <laughs> text you okay? Bye. <laughs> okay, I think, because <laughs> I feel that we are about the same age. Mm. And uh, even though I only met you in 08, that's a few mm. years after you have started the company. But yes. over over the years I've seen how you have brought the company so to, brought your company to different heights. How you've been exploring and keeping up with technology and always embracing new ideas. And I feel that that is something that we should all learn from. It's always about keeping up. It's never about staying in the comfort zone. And I know success is never as easy as it seems, but your life just looks so perfect. I want to know how. <laughs> I think next time we interview on my failures, okay? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Really, ah, uh, set, uh? <laughs> No, I, I mean, I, I, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I mean, okay. um, I, I'm, I'm very touched. I'm, I'm very touched. I'm very touched that um, you, you said that lah. Like, and then, uh, yeah. I, I think you know, it's like you say, it's, it's really not easy, and I. That, that's what people say to me sometimes. They say, you know, I look at your life, it looks like you are living in Disneyland or something. <laughs> mm. 
I feel like you live a very <laughs> guided life by, by your belief. Even though I'm not religious, right? But I do mm. believe in the power of, yes. of being guided. Mm-mm. And I think it puts you in a really good place for success. Yeah, I, I think definitely, um, you know, life is a full of ups and downs, Lam. And um, I, I totally agree with you because, you know, like, um, I am a Christian. And um, I, I mean, I really focus on my faith and that, that really has helped me a lot. Yeah, so, you know, like, whatever um, differences we are, or even, you know, we do not have a, a religion, I agree with you. You know, like, just uh, having uh, the intention is very important. Yeah, having yes. the right intention. Yeah, I think you, like, you live life with a, with, a, with a good intention. Yes, yes. Thank you so much. We are the Insta Insta Live is in one. Because I think it's only one. <laughs> so fast. So, so they remind us, okay, you are done. It's one hour. <laughs> so thank you yeah. so much. Okay, uh, you, <laughs> you sign around. <laughs> Thank you oh, so sorry, much. Sorry, just call me. Time. I need to go. Oh, yeah, yeah. You better thank go. You should go to the Wu Chun uh, <laughs> But I mean, t- thank you so much for taking time out to join thank me you. for lunch today. I mean, uh, it was really fun, you know, as usual. Like, whenever we, we speak, you know, I just have so much fun. And at the same time, I've learned so many new things. And I agree, you mm-hmm. definitely should be an influencer. You know, I have like, okay, new books to read, new products to get. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, and if you are watching this, you know, like, uh, if you like this, you know, like, sh- show us some love by liking this. And, um... I guess that's all for today, you know, and uh, please uh, look out for you. It's a new show that is coming out on Sunday, right? So where can they yes. catch it? So they can catch it on your Facebook. Yes, and it will on, be on my Facebook on your Instagram. page. Mm-hmm. Yes. So uh, my handle is uh, so it's the I-O-E. Or you can look for me on Instagram. That's Y-O-U underscore Y-I. And I want yes, to talk to Violet really, really soon about the failures and success in life. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and yes, I will be uh, putting that later in the link so they can search it up easily. So, Thank you. So, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye.